Hey everybody, I'm going to go over really quickly uh, the 48 Laws of Power, Law 2. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and message. Don't forget to like and subscribe and message. So Law Number 2 says, Never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use your enemies. And it starts off with something called a judgment. It says, be wary of friends. They will betray you more quickly, for they are easily aroused to envy. They also become spoiled and tyrannical. But hire a former enemy, and he will be more loyal than a friend, because he has more to prove. In fact, you have more to fear from friends than from enemies. If you have no enemies, find a way to make them. I'm going to go through and just read some of the things that I underlined from the chapter. There's a part, part called interpretation. It says, A Chinese proverb compares friends to the jaws and teeth of a dangerous animal. If you are not careful, you will find them chewing you up. Okay, in this chapter, there's a part called keys to power. I'm going to read a few of these to you that I underlined. It says, It is natural to want to employ your friends when you find yourself in times of need. The world is a harsh place, and your friends soften the harshness. Besides, you know them. Why depend on a stranger when you have a friend at hand? The problem is, is that you often do not know your friends as well as you imagine. Friends often agree on things in order to avoid an argument. They cover up their unpleasant qualities so as not to offend each other. They laugh extra hard at each other's jokes. Friends will say that they love your poetry, adore your music, and envy your taste in clothes. Maybe they mean it, maybe they don't. Um, it talks about uh, favors and gifts. It says, people want to feel they deserve their good fortune. The receipt of a favor can become oppressive to people. The more favors and gifts you supply to receive their friendship, the less gratitude you receive. The problem with using or hiring friends is that it will inevitably limit your power. The friend is rarely the one who is most able to help you. And in the end, skill and competence are, are far more important than friendly feelings. All working situations require a kind of distance, distance between people. You are trying to work, not make friends. Friend, friendliness, real or false, only obscures that fact. The key to power, then, is the ability to judge who is best able to Further your interest in all your situations. Keep friends for friendship, but work with the skilled and competent. Your enemies, on the other hand, are an untapped gold mine that you must learn to exploit. It says, as Lincoln said, you destroy an enemy when you make a friend of him. Kissinger made a policy of working with those he dis who disagreed with him. It says, without enemies around us, we grow lazy. An enemy at our heels sharpens our wits, keeping us focused and alert. Without a worthy opponent, he explained, a man or group cannot grow stronger. Never pick a fight with someone you are not sure you can defeat. <clears throat> it says, first be certain that in the long run you will emerge, emerge victorious. Second, if you have no apparent enemies, you must sometimes set up a convenient target, even turning a friend into an enemy. Third, use such enemies to define your cause more clearly to the public, even framing it as a struggle of good against evil. Never let the presence of enemies upset or distress you. You are far better off with a declared opponent or two than not knowing where your enemies, real enemies lie. In the last part, there's a part of the chapter called reversal. I just underlined something in here. A man of power, for example, often has dirty work that has to be done. But for the sake of appearances, it is generally preferable to have other people do it for him. Friends often do this the best, since their affection for him makes them willing to take chances. Also, if your plans go awry for some reason, you can use a friend as a convenient scapegoat. So that would be the opposite. It says, finally, the problem about working with friends is that it confuses the boundaries and distances that working requires. So, once again, this is the 48 Laws of Power. That was just some quick readings from the chapter to give you a quick review, uh, understanding of what, what the chapter is about. And basically, remember to 
um, befriend your enemies. And if you're hiring people or you're working with people, they're saying it's better to have uh, to bring people in like who are your enemies than your friends. Um, keep them close to you. Um, so don't forget to like, subscribe and message me about this. Appreciate you listening. Thank you.